Hello there, I'm Chef Johnny. This is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Appreciate you being here. Breaking out the Dutch ovens today, gonna do a dish in those. Now remember, just cause I do it in the Dutch oven doesn't mean you can't do it in the house on the stove. It'll work just as fine in there, but we're doing a dish, mom called a cabbage casserole, but we're gonna call it a uh, unstuffed cabbage roll. So we're gonna make cabbage rolls, but we're not gonna roll anything up. So stick around, let me show you how we do that. Charcoal's nice and hot, so I'm gonna dump them out on here. Now, we've got a 12 inch oven today, so y'all know normally we put about half on bottom, or two thirds on top and about a third on bottom. But today I'm fixing to brown up some hamburger meat. So, I am going, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sit that right up on top of it, and I am going to get these babies good and hot. Pour a little olive oil in there. First we let the pot get hot, now we've let the oil get hot. That helps with your non-sticking, and now we're gonna drop in two pounds of ground meat. Got a good sizzle there, that means it's hot. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this fancy little tool and just break up my hamburger meat. Let this brown. As I'm adding this pepper, I'm going to tell you all right now, I'm going to get about, oh, two teaspoons to maybe a tablespoon of black pepper in here through the course of seasoning this, but just enough now to put some flavor into that meat. A little sea salt. I'm going to be real light on the salt because I'm adding some uh, tomato base in a little while, and I do want to get this too salty. All you want to do is just break up this hamburger meat and let it cook. We got plenty of fire under there. Let's let that brown. See if we can turn this a little bit. It's starting to brown on the bottom, so I'll flip it over. Once this is cooked about halfway through, I'm gonna add some onions to it. Now, if you were taking this camping, you could brown your meat before you went, have your brown, brown meat already ready to go. I know a lot of people like to use my recipes when they're out camping that I do in Dutch oven, and that's one way to save you cook time in the kitchen when you're out and about. That meat's cooked about halfway, so I'm gonna drop in a whole onion. And it was probably a medium-sized onion, diced it up. We're gonna cook that onion in with our meat. And we're gonna take it till our onions are getting tender, kind of translucent. Stir these onions a little bit. They're starting to cook, they're releasing all their juices, so. Here in a minute, we're gonna drain off some of this liquid and get some of that oil out of here, maybe this hamburger meat released. I have four big cloves of garlic that I minced up. Actually, what I did was I ran them through my garlic press. That's in there. Garlic will burn on you, so you wanna be careful. But, so that's why I don't put it in at the beginning, but I'm gonna stir that garlic in real well. That garlic starts getting hot, it's always nice to Smell that, that smells great. These onions are tender. Next step is gonna to be to add our tomatoes. Next ingredient is some Rotel fire roasted tomatoes. Gonna to put the juice and all in there. Now if you wanted to, you could use regular diced tomatoes, but I'm gonna put in a can of those and a can of the uh, Rotel hot. If you don't like it hot, you can get original or you can get the mild. Put those in there. We're gonna start trying to get this up to a boil. Stir those in. I drained the grease off a while ago, so we have the grease off this meat, but these Rotel tomatoes are really going to add a fantastic flavor. Get the heat back up, and we'll get that to boiling. My Rotel tomatoes are boiling, so I'm going to add a cup of water. Let that come up to a boil, and on top, I'm going to sprinkle just some powdered uh, tomato base. This is Nor brand tomato with chicken. You don't want uh, too much salt. You, you could always put tomato sauce in right now instead of this, but I was trying to avoid the sugar from the tomatoes. So no tomato sauce for me tonight. Oh, and I'd say probably 
maybe three tablespoons of this. That's why I said be careful on your salt a while ago. It's already coming back to a boil. You can see I've got a good amount of heat up underneath here. Just stir in that bouillon. It's back up to a good boil. So I'm going to add my cabbage and this is just a, a small head of cabbage that's been chopped up. I kind of did it into long slivers. That is looking really good. I'm going to kind of just push it down in there. Want this cabbage to cook down. I'm going to tell you right now, that looks like a full pot. Anytime you're cooking greens, you got to realize they cook down a lot. So I'm just going to kind of get some seasoning in here. And at the end, we're going to season it up just a little bit more one more time. That looks good. I'm going to take my lid now. Put my lid right up on top and let that cook for about 15 minutes. I'll throw some coals up on top. Pull them off the bottom. I had heated up a few more a while ago and threw down there. Now, I didn't follow all the rules tonight about how many coals on top, how many coals on bottom, because we were browning meat, then we were bringing everything up to a boil we want to boil this cabbage down so there's a lot of heat up underneath. I got some heat up on top. It's going to help that cabbage cook a little bit quicker, but about 15 minutes, maybe 20. I think our cabbage is going to be tender. We'll be able to try this out. Let's see how this is looking. It's been about 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Woo! We'll stir it a little bit. For another 5 or 10 minutes, we'll be done. I'll lift this up, sit it over on my shelf over here, out of the way. Took a little taste of that, and I tell you what, it can use some salt. So, come back in with some of my sea salt. Those hot rotels gave it just the right amount of heat. But I'm going to add a little more black pepper just for flavor. And I tell you, if I had a little garlic out here, I'd add a little more garlic to it. A little granulated garlic, but I don't have any, so... Stir it in. It's been going 15 minutes. I'm going to take the lid off. That cabbage is cooked down. It's looking nice and tender. I'm going to leave this uncovered now, and I'm just going to let some of these juices cook off of it. Let's go ahead and scoop some of this up. It's cooked down a whole lot. Get us a bowl full. That is looking real pretty. Now I'm going to back off and I want to show you this work table I'm working at so you can see the whole thing. That's a good picture. You can see of that, uh, of that table. It's got folding legs. The uh, back is aluminum that holds it up. But it's got a nice metal table. Comes with a carrying case. A uh, shelf on each side. You can see my lid sitting on one shelf and got a uh, couple of spoons on the other one. But this is, I think, the best uh, table that there is out there. It's from Chuck Wagon Supply. I got this from them. It's not the cheapest one out there. But by far, this is the most sturdy built Dutch oven table I have ever used or ever seen. Great, great table. So just want to give you all a quick look at that. Here we go. Great dish tonight. Came out fantastic. This is going to work on my diet. A lot of y'all know. Y'all may be tired of hearing me say that. But, hey, we're working at, at getting thinner, getting healthier. And uh, this is a great dish. I'm going to have the recipe down below, how I made it tonight. But... Hey, Roger Raglan Diet, I'm going to put a link down there and find his uh, Roger Raglan Outdoors so you can get to his website and you can learn about it also or just send me a message, I'll tell you about it. But anyways, uh, ground meat, drained off, the, uh, drained off the fat, got our seasonings in there, some Rotel tomatoes, cooked down a head of cabbage and it's looking fantastic. We're going to give this a try, see how it turned out and I bet you it's pretty good. I sampled it a while ago, but let y'all see exactly uh, how good this dish is. That is, that is excellent. Those Rotels using the hot ones gave us just the amount of heat we wanted. The, uh, the fire roasted ones gave us a fantastic uh, flavor with the fire roast on there. And, of course, I used my uh, Nor brand uh, bouillon. That was good. You can always use tomato sauce if you want to. 
And uh, a lot of people do that. A lot of people use regular diced tomatoes. I elected to go with the Rotel just for the flavor, but great, great dish. Mmm. Hope you enjoyed this Dutch oven meal as much as I did. Remember, you can take it inside your kitchen and cook it in there also. I just happen to do it outside today. But thanks for stopping by. Always do appreciate it. I remember to tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media. And I'm going to see you down the road on Texas-style barbecue and cuisine. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.